Hi guys, welcome to another installment of the How To Series. My name is Billy and I'm going to show you today how to tint your windows for your car. Okay? Easy, simple process that anybody can do. Alright? So, we need a few supplies first. So I've already gone and went and gotten the supplies. So I'm going to show you what we're going to use for our, our little process here today. What you need is some window tint, obviously. Now, you can get this at any auto parts store. You can get it at a lot of discount um, chains like the, the Big W or the circle with that dot in the middle. You know the stores I'm talking about. You can get it there or you can go to your auto parts store because they have it all the time. Um, and the most important thing to look for is this percentage down here. This one is extra dark limo tint. It's 5%. That 5% means there's 5% of the light from the sun is getting through. That's it. Only 5%. Now they have from 0 to 35%. Now you have to check with your state um, laws because 5% is too dark in most states to do the front side windows. Okay, So we're going to do the back side windows and make this all legal. All right, So I can use 5%. I can use 0. But uh, I believe the front side windows, almost every state requires 35%. Alright, so that's like the lowest, that's, a, that's the lowest amount you're really legally allowed to have. Um, back windows, no problem. There's, there's no law in any state that I know of that has any issues with the back windows. So, we're going to do the back windows today. Um, second thing you need is your squeegee. Alright, this one actually happens to be a window washing squeegee. So it has, you know, the padded side here, but you don't need that. That's, we're not even going to be using that for today. Um, but you need a squeegee that actually has that rubber side to it that flexes. The flex rubber side is the most important thing that you, you can get, all right? I've seen squeegees out there that are very stiff. You can't use that. You have to have this rubber squeegee, all right? Now, if you don't have a squeegee, you can use a credit card if you have an old credit card. Uh, just be careful if it's your new credit card just because it may get a little wet and might ruin the magnetic stripe, but... I've never seen it happen, but it could do it, so I warn you on that one. Use an old credit card or library card of some sort. But when you do that, you have to wrap it in a cloth towel, not a paper towel. This will get a little wet, but it's cloth, so it's not going to rip and tear while you're trying to do um, what you need. The reason you need this, okay, when you wrap it up and you squeegee the window, it will not damage your tint at all. It won't scratch it or anything. Now, if you used a credit card just by itself and squeegeed it, it's going to ruin it and it's going to scratch your surface. You're going to notice it and you're going to hate it. So, very important to have this. Our last piece, obviously our water bottle. Have to have some water in there. This is about a quarter water in here um, with three drops, maybe four drops of dishwashing liquid. Um, you can use any kind, doesn't matter the brand name. It doesn't really matter. Just three drops per quart, and that's about it, okay? Last thing you need is a bucket or a trash can of some sort. Um, I have my trash can here that that uh, is pretty good size here. So what you want to do is you want to take your things, and you want to throw them right in the garbage because this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, all right? Make this easy on yourself. Grab your old trusty phone book. Look up auto-tinting windows, window tinting, anything you need to look up. I've already marked the page here, so I'm going to actually call. Hi, A1 Better Tint? Yeah, um, I need to make a, a, an appointment. Yeah, tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Um